Hi friends, today I will talk to you about a very important topic what to do if there is an accidental thyroid hormone overdose. So thyroid hormone is a pro hormone. So basically in the body once you take the levothyroxine, uh, so thyroid hormone, all thyroid hormone is levothyroxine or LT4 and once it's absorbed into the body from the intestine, it goes into the blood and in the tissues it has to be con converted into something called T3 or triiodothyronine and triiodothyronine is the actual hormone which is active in the body at the level of the cell. So the body also has the capability to damp to uh, convert the T4 into reverse T3 which is an inert product which is not active at the target receptor. So this is called uh, you know enzyme which uh, 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 causes this uh, reverse T3 is called 5 dash diiodinase. So, this enzyme is available in all the tissues, and if there is an excess of uh, LT4, it protects the organs against an excess or a spike in uh, T3. So, uh, if, if you consume a lot of levothyroxine, uh, you can transiently experience uh, symptoms like uh, palpitation or increased heart rate, sweating, etc. But uh, almost invariably, there has never been any documented uh, deaths due to uh, levothyroxine overdose. So, uh, I have personally seen overdoses where uh, people have taken more than 50-60 tablets of levothyroxine, where we usually, after a brief period of observation, we usually discharge the patient. So, uh, why this is so is because of the deiodinase activity and uh, the LT4 gets converted into reverse T3 by the deiodinase activity. So, uh, because of uh, the because of this particular enzyme, we are protected against uh, uh, a overdose due to a levothyroxine. And invariably, uh, people some uh, patients sometimes ask me by mistake, you know, I have taken two tablets instead of one. So, for such things, you just need to skip the dose the next day. Like uh, if you forget and you take two times levothyroxine, you don't need to worry about it. It's not usually going to cause any trouble. And uh, in fact, you will be surprised to know that uh, there were uh, preparations of once weekly thyroid hormone that is we consume approximately 100 microgram daily uh, in the past there were preparations of 700 microgram levothyroxine available which you can take on a weekly basis or a once weekly um, regime but uh, this did not become very popular because the once weekly thyroid hormone did cause a little increase in heart rate on the day in which you took it basically on the day in which you took it many patients reported mild symptoms of increased heart rate etc so uh, in order to avoid this mild unpleasant side effect so we go for a once daily dosing of uh, thyroid hormone so largely uh, the thyroid hormone overdose uh, you know is not a clinical problem or it is not a problem for the uh, modern medical uh, this thing and that's also one of the reasons why we commonly prefer um, you know levothyroxine therapy now uh, lt3 is also available but lt3 is not very safe like LT4 because if you take an overdose of LT3 by mistake, you can end up with gross uh, hyperthyroidism or thyrotoxicosis like features, uh, you know, like sweating, palpitation, increased heart rate, etc. Because you don't have a enzyme which protects you from the spike. So we do uh, because uh, uh, so it may not be a very, very safe treatment to be used in large population settings actually. Thank you for watching this video and uh, we will uh, try to bring more and more information about uh, thyroid hormone therapy in the future.